Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold, the Second Swing Golf, and today I'm at the PGA Show in Orlando for 2023, and we're at the Zexio booth here, joined by Chuck Theory uh, with Zexio 12, Chuck. And so we've introduced Zexio to the Second Swing customers a few years ago, and get a lot of good feedback because of yeah. performance and how easy the clubs are to use out on the golf course. And so new series here, Zexio 12. Uh, first, can you go ahead and kind of talk about the brand, Zexio, what you guys try to accomplish maybe, help golfers uh, get educated in that sense. Yeah, thank you, Drew, I'm happy to do that. Um, first of all, thanks for saying the word easy. Yeah. That's a really cool <laughs> and uh, commonly used word in our vernacular. We talk yeah. about easy, easy distance, easy trajectory, uh, easy mm -hmm. to swing. That's kind of what Zexio is all about. Um, in terms of our brand, uh, we're about 23 years old. We're one of the largest global golf brands. Uh, we've been in the United States now for about eight years. Uh, our specialty is obviously lightweight, high balance point mm -hmm. equipment. Um, you're starting to see more and more companies uh, come at you with lightweight yeah. equipment. We hope we had something to do with that. We like it. Uh, I think we you believe, probably did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We believe very much in it. We uh, we think that the majority of golfers really struggle with speed. Yeah. Um, in today's world, a lot of the equipment is really developed for better players, tour yeah. players. They c companies kind of have to because that's where they spend their money. Right. And when they do that, they tend to take spin off the driver. There's less spin on the golf ball. Yeah. So what that means for a guy my age is ball flight like this. Right. And people are really looking for ball flight mm -hmm. like that. So when you get lighter, high balance point equipment, you can really shoot that ball up right. in the air and, and get it up yeah. there. And, my experience over the years is that there's no bunkers up there. There's no water up there. I like <laughs> yeah. ball. I like the ball up in the air. Yeah. You know, so um, so lightweight, high balance point is is our specialty. You'll see it throughout the entire line. Um, a few things that really make Zexio different from any other brand is that this grip is made to go with this shaft, which is made to go with this head. Sure. It's kind of a unique perspective mm -hmm. for second swing, right? Yeah. Um, we don't really say take this head and put any shaft you want on it. It can work but it can really work best with lightweight components, right? Mm -hmm. uh, most of the grips that you see are 50 to 60 grams. This, this grip is 28 grams. Oh, wow. Most of the shafts you deal with are 45 to 70 grams in the driver. Mm -hmm. Our shafts are as low as 36 grams. Our head weights are about 187 grams. So we make a golf club different because all we really care about is this one segment of the market, right? right? Moderate swing right. speed players. Yeah, because I think you can, you can almost kind of get lost in some of the, you know, low spin that is kind of uh, marketed throughout the industry, right? Yeah. Uh, but that only works for those players that have enough speed to make low spin work. And there's a lot of golfers that don't have that speed necessary. And so that's where you guys come in. Oh my gosh, you don't need me. Delivering that, that's the high, it, that's delivering it right the spin, there. Yeah. That's, it, that's, that's exactly right. Um, we always like to say that um, what we've learned is that golfers age, over the age of 60 play by far their most amount of golf. They play way, yeah. way the most amount of rounds. Uh, the other thing that they have in common is after the age of 50, the average golfer loses about one mile an hour sure. of club head speed per year. So that's kind of where Zexio comes into the picture for people that are struggling with speed, uh, that are passionate about the game and are really willing to do whatever it takes to pick up an extra 10 or 15 yards. That's, that's our game. So I'm also seeing here, we have a, a lady set here. Uh, so is, talk to me about the kind of, is there major differences between sort of uh, the ladies versus the, the men's set or are they, the technology is pretty similar? Talk to me about the differences here. Yeah, so, so, so great, great qu uh, question, right? Um, we love talking about women's golf. Um, as you walk around the PGA show, which is where we are today, most of the companies will do about 10 or 15% of their sales to women. Yeah. 50% of our sales really? are to women. And when you think about what we just talked about, we're for people that struggle with speed. Well, women struggle with speed, right? Mm -hmm. They struggle to hit a three wood, they struggle to hit right. five woods high. So when we can give them a little bit more uh, speed back in their golf swing, the golf clubs become super playable. But to answer your question, the core technologies are yeah. really the same, okay. right? We're all about not just lightweight, but lightweight high balance point. Every golf club we make is counterbalanced. Counterbalancing is a term that uh, many good players have used mm -hmm. over the years. Jack Nicklaus was a big counterbalancer. And we think that the average player needs it more than anybody. Yeah. Um, let me just show you if I can, if we can get a shot of this, right? There are some kind of critical points of the golf swing. And essentially, if you're working with an instructor, they're gonna tell you that that's a pretty critical point right. in the golf swing, right? But golf clubs are really counterintuitive. When you have the club here, the golf club wants to go that way because two thirds of the weight of a golf club is out here and this makes up one third. So two thirds of the weight is at the furthest point from your right. hand. So the golf club really wants to go that way. Now, when you consider our player, 
who are oftentimes older and, and many times not as strong as a young yeah. player, by putting weight on this end of the golf club, you help them keep it in the key positions. This is another key position. We'd all yeah. like our golf club to be right there at the top, mm -hmm. but the golf club wants to do that. And when you're a weaker player, it especially wants to do that. And then finally, um, at impact, most average players will miss the, the golf ball to right field. Mm -hmm. And that's because the, golf, the head lags behind the grip. But when you put weight on the outside of the grip, it'll help square sure. that head up at impact. If you ever want to swing a golf club fast, the fastest possible way to swing a golf club is just like this. Mm -hmm. And that's counterbalancing. That's putting yeah. a bunch of weight on the outside of your hands. Yeah. So that's another thing that we try to do. And kind of to that point, Drew, um, there are a lot of companies that are now coming out with lightweight equipment. And like I said earlier, we love that, but we're 23 years into it. Right. So what we're looking at now are accompanying technologies, things that go well with lightweight. Yeah. Yeah, and I think, I mean, the way you explain it makes it look, seems so like it makes sense, right? It's right. The, the physics behind it, you know, you're yeah. just, you're simply doing these, it sounds simple in nature the way you explain it, but I imagine over years and years, you've kind of refined those things to improve that launch and the spin for these types of players. Um, one thing too, I, I just wanted to mention as I look, you know, for example, these irons, you can kind of yeah. see too, like I'm looking at this nine iron on this, you can see a ton of weight in the sole down here. Imagine that's designed high launch, get that ball into the air. Like you mentioned for players, maybe that do struggle sometimes get that ball high enough. Yeah, like I said, you really don't need me for this. You've got it, right? We're, we are pretty simple and logical. Yeah, so everything you see on the irons, our irons are actually four different pieces. They're a body, the frame of the golf club, the face, and then tungsten that's distributed throughout the golf club. And the men's and irons have the same technology, men's and ladies, same technology. Um, one of the things I will remind your fitters of is that uh, we're one of the only companies in golf that are using a titanium face. Mm. Again, when you think about our player, they need light, they need hot, yeah. right? They need that ball coming off fast. So we like to say we take a driver face and we put it in the iron. And that's exactly what we do. It's the same grade of titanium that's in our driver. And we put it in the face of the golf club. Yeah. So it really, our, our player needs ball speed, right? They need all the help they can get. And then to your point, yeah, a lot of weight distributed low and deep in the golf club so that they can see that. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, golfers out there, like you mentioned, so many players, 50, 60 plus years old, maybe trying to retain some speed. Zexio 12 series is a really, really good option. You can get them at second swing. Chuck, thank you for joining today. Really good explanation. And I think we're really excited about Zexio moving forward here. Thank you so much for having me, Drew. And thanks to all you fitters at, at second swing. We appreciate everything you do for us.